Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. What you got to understand, Jermaine, is that you're not going to get the understanding of the Bible or be able to teach others unless some man guide you. Right. You understand? This book is a spiritual book. Right. Understanding is not going to come to you by osmosis. Right. God is a God of order. That's there right. are certain men that he has already shed this light to, that he's already anointed to be the trailblazers of this truth. Right. And that you must find, take you and your family and learn and get guided up under. That's right. It's not meant for you to do it by yourself. You understand that? God is about unity. What's your name? Jermaine. Jermaine. God is asking you that. How long did you know you was an Israelite? For a long time. For a long time. For a long time. And what have you done? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, brother. Do you know how to keep the Sabbath day? Yeah. How do you do I it? Keep, I keep the Sabbath day. Um. Saturday. No, I don't keep it on Saturday. Why not? Why not? I keep it, I keep it according to the moon. You, okay. To the new okay, moon. okay. Okay. You keep it according to the new according moon. According to the new moon. Yeah. Who do you learn from? And why do you say that? I um I actually just practice with my family. With your family only. Huh? You say you just practice with your family? With family. Is with your family, family a part of another uh, congregation or organization or Well we we um we trying to enlighten other brothers, other sisters to uh that we are Israelites. We are the chosen people. Okay of the most high. Okay. Now watch this. Let me get Acts. You know what I want, right? Acts chapter eight, verse thirty. Yeah, give me that. So let me show you something. So I understand you said, I'm going to address with the part where you said about keeping the Sabbath on the new moon, based off the new moon, right? Based off the but new moon. in order for you to start teaching brothers and trying to shed light, there's something that you must apply first. Okay. You got it? Yeah. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 30. Bring it out. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah uh -huh. and said, Understandest thou? What thou reading? So the spirit told Philip to run to this Ethiopian eunuch that was in a chariot. And he was meditating on the Bible. And he was specifically reading the book of Isaiah. And when Philip met him, he asked, do you understand what you're reading? Why do you think Philip asked him that? Because you got to understand what you're reading to teach it to anybody else. Exactly. But the reason is, watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly why he said it. Come on. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? Except what? Some man should guide me. Because what you got to understand, Jermaine, is that you're not going to get the understanding of the Bible or be able to teach others unless some man guide you. Right. You understand? This book is a spiritual book. Right. Understanding is not going to come to you by osmosis. Right. God is a God of order. That's there right. are certain men that he has already shed this light to, that he's already anointed to be the trailblazers of this truth. Right. And that you must find, take you and your family and learn and get guided up under. That's right. It's not meant for you to do it by yourself. Right. You understand that? God is about unity. Unity. What? You gotta pray for understanding. Bro. You said what? You gotta pray for understanding. Bro. But what do you do before you pray for understanding? You're not wrong. But what must you do before you pray for understanding? Bring it out. You know what I want, right? Enlighten. One eleven and ten. Enlighten. I'm gonna show you. I like that answer. I like that answer. Have you ever heard this information, bro? Because you gotta be guided too, Corey. You said you believe in God, right? And you say you love God, right? So as God's people, as the Israelites, we must humble ourselves under men that are teaching how to follow God. Right. And we must humble ourselves under the commandments of God, us and our, fa and our families. All right, watch this, read. Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. Bring it out. The fear 
of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the beginning of wisdom is first you must learn to fear God. You understand? You understand? Yeah, understand? So we must learn to fear God. To fear God means you fear the judgments that will come upon you if you sin. So watch this. So he says the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God, right? Come on. A good understanding. What? A good understanding. Come on. Have all they? Have all they. So those that have a good understanding are all those that what? Do his commandments. Yeah, what? That do his commandments. So we must be keeping the commandments first and we have to be keeping them correctly. So I understand that you say, give me Sirach chapter 4 verse 17. So I understand that you say that you know you're an Israelite and you're of the tribe of Judah, right? The Lord says wisdom will walk with you in your, in your crooked ways. One of your crooked ways is that you're keeping the Sabbath based on the new moon. Right? So I'm going to ask you a question. I know because you just squinted your, your eyebrows. You think, uh. Why, under what understanding are you keeping the Sabbath based on a new moon? What scriptural reference do you have to say that the Sabbath is based on a new moon? Look it out. I can't pull it up right now. You can't pull it up? I can't, I can't be quoted right now. But if you, if you can enlighten me on something different, then okay. I can open my, my ears. Open. We'll do that. Read this first. The book of Sir Rock. Chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it up. For at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways. So the she here is talking about wisdom, right? Because remember, wisdom, the fear of God, is the beginning of wisdom, right? So at first, wisdom will walk with you in crooked ways, meaning you're not all the way right yet. You don't all the way have it right. And to be honest, no man really truly has it all the way right until Christ returns. The scriptures say no man is, no just man is without sin. Right. You understand? So wisdom will walk with you in your crooked ways as you're trying to learn, as you're trying to gain understanding, and you're trying to do right. Right? Come on. And bring fear and dread upon him. Uh -huh. Because you fear the judgment of keeping God's commandments. Because a lot of us have, I don't know how old you are, you look like you're like mid-30s, right? Uh, 43. 43, okay. All praises. So... A lot of us will probably have, I don't know how long you know about the truth, let's just say 40 years of worldly living. Three years is not going to just eradicate the last 40 years of sin. Right. So it's going to be troublesome times when you're trying to discipline yourself based on old habits, right? For example, did you, do you smoke or do you still smoke or used to smoke? You smoke? Yeah. Have you been trying to overcome that habit? I haven't been really trying. Okay. That's that's something that you got to make sure that you get on because something like that if you don't even do you understand that you Not supposed to smoke. Let me ask you that first Or do you think God is okay with you smoking you think you don't mind? I don't, I don't have no knowledge of not, not being a This is why you must be in guided by men right. This is exactly why right. you can't do it by yourself right. You understand it's not meant for you to to be done by yourself you understand? So things like that, you have to be guided. All praise to the Most High that you understand you an Israelite. That means God is dealing with you. That means God is dealing with you. But now you need to step your game up, bro. Now it's time to level up. Now you need to find the congregation to come and learn under. That's right. You understand? And I'm not saying that it, most, it, it has to be us. I'm not saying it has to be us. Do your research, brother. Look us up. Examine other teachers. And you make the decision... Who it is that you believe is going to lead you righteously according to God's commandments and that allow you to take your family to the kingdom of heaven because your soul is at stake, your children's soul is at stake, and, the, and your wife, I'm not sure if you're married or not, but the woman that you're dealing with, her soul is at stake because you're guiding them. And if you are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, misinformed, then guess what? They're going to be misinformed. Right. You understand? Watch Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
destroy it 